Hello and welcome to the channel. In today's episode, I am going to be making my very first lentil soup and I'm going to can it up. If you'd like to see that, stay tuned. First, I'm going to start out by sorting and rinsing my beans. I have washed and sorted two cups of red lentils. I have a tiny bit of water inside of the Instant Pot because I don't want the lentils to stick. I still have a little bit of lentils to put inside. I'm going to place my lentils in. Then I'm going to place my turkey necks in. I'm going to season and I'm going to turn it on. All of the lentils have been washed. Uh-oh, all the lentils have been washed. And now I'm putting them all in the Instant Pot. I will follow that up with the turkey The remainder necks. of the turkey necks are gonna go inside of the Instant Pot, like so. And now I'm going to season, as it says in the ball, home candy, a complete book of home preserving book. So I'm going to start putting my ingredients in now. I'm going to be using some dehydrated onions. And I'm just kind of eyeballing a little bit because these are dehydrated, not fresh. A little bit more. There we go. Now the recipe I'm following is the split pea recipe, even though these are lentils. So I'm going to season to taste. And this is my pepper mill that I have black peppercorns, uh, cilantro seed, and mustard seed inside. I have really been giving it a workout, so I need to add some more seasonings inside of my pepper. Of course, you have to have your bay leaf. It calls for a fourth of a teaspoon of allspice. This is my dried ground allspice. So I'm just gonna take a little bit like that. Put it in like so. This recipe also calls for one and a half cups of carrots. So I chop some carrots and I'm gonna put those in like so. Now we're gonna get the water and get this started. You know, is in the background, that's just the canner. It is a canning day. So I'm going to add the water now that I have all of my ingredients, including my seasoning. And again, I'm following the recipe for split pea soup out of the ball um, complete guide of home preserving. And I'm just gonna take this up to the max fill line and turn it on. Here we are. Make sure my Instant Pot is on sealing and not venting. I'm gonna turn on the pressure for 20 minutes and let it cook. Now that my soup is partially cooked, it's time to get it jarred up. I'm gonna give it a quick stir and ladle from the bottom. I'm using square 26 ounce mason jars I purchased online. If you're interested in where I got these mason jars, I'll put that information in the description box below. Just like when I made split pea soup, this lentil soup is messy. I don't like a lot of mess. I like to clean as I go. That way, by the time I'm finished with all of my food preparation, I don't have a kitchen full of mess that I have to go back to clean. That's no fun. 
I'm going to ladle my jar to a one inch headspace. I'm only going to show you one jar and then I'm going to finish off the rest and get them in the canner. As I mentioned before, I do not have a canning ladle and when you can, it takes time and patience. And so that's what's going on right here. I'm ladling as quickly as I can with the ladle that I have and I'm taking my time and being patient. Once I fill my jars full of whatever I'm canning, in this instant, lentil soup, I wipe my rims with distilled white vinegar, place on a lid and ring, and get it in the canner. Now for me, my soup is hot, so I have to be careful while touching this jar because this jar is hot. I use what I have available to me in my kitchen, so I touch and hold my jars with either a towel or a paper towel so that I try not to get burned. So here is that soup. Isn't it lovely looking? Here is where I went wrong in the last canning session. It appears that that is a full roar of steam, yet my locking mechanism has not popped up. It is spitting and spurting like crazy, but it's not up. And if I put my rocker on too soon, and that forces that locking mechanism to pop up, then my canner will not come up to the recommended amount of pressure. And this is where I went wrong in the last canning session. My canner is roaring like crazy. Can you guys hear it? but I'm in a loss here. I think I have canned too much t this weekend. My nerves are shot. This top security button has rattled three times, partially popped up twice, and it's finally popped up. And now the steam is going and I have the timer set for 10 minutes. I think this is it for me this weekend. My nerves are shot. I figured out what was wrong with the canner. This locking mechanism has the ability to come off. Well, somehow in the midst of all of my canning and all of my cleaning, the bottom screw portion of this that does say bottom on it began to come loose. That's why the canner was malfunctioning. So I've got to start my process the bottom, again. The bottom of the locking mechanism just came loose. So let's try this all over again for the third the timer time. timer has gone off. So now it is time to open the canner. It's been sitting here for five minutes without pressure. And it's time to take the lid and turn it and set it on top a jar for 10 minutes to allow the steam to come out and it to acclimate to the kitchen temperature. So I'm going to turn on the timer for 10 minutes and then we'll take the jars out after 10 minutes. 10 minutes has passed so it is time to get the jars out of the canner. So I'm just going to move the lid out of the way, grab my jar lifter, and my hot pad and start. First, I like to look inside of my canner to see if there was any siphoning, to see if I still have any water left, because you never want your canner to run dry. I like to see if any of my glasses or my jars might have broken. It doesn't appear that I have anything that's broken. But it's hard to tell just by looking. You actually have to grab your jar and pick it up before you can tell whether or not it is indeed broken. And so far, so good. 
I have heard some jars pinging while I waited. Now what I'm taking out right here, this is, uh, you guys can't see, it's, you're too close, but this is lentil, onion, and carrot soup with um, turkey neck. My canner malfunctioned with two different batches, so I lost my footage. But you've seen this before, so see you next time.